Today's video is sponsored by Pickers Grip. Stop dropped picks and pick rotation while playing with Pickers Grip. Made with all natural ingredients in Virginia. Check out their website to order. When you support my sponsor, this also supports my channel and it's very much appreciated. Today here in the Dungeon, we're talking about your top 14 greatest guitar players ever. Not mine, yours. I didn't pick these. By the time this video goes live on YouTube, it will have been a couple of weeks since the video that, as I'm recording this, went live today that I posted about my top picks of you know my favorite all-time guitar players ever. And I have to admit, I did not mention this at the time, but uh, that video is a bit of a setup for this video. What I did was I actually created a poll in a couple of Facebook groups, uh, large guitar oriented Facebook groups. Uh, one of those groups was the Wampler Tone Group, uh, which I'm very active in. Uh, great, great, great bunch of guys, you know, mature guitar players that, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of uh, guitar wars going on in that group. Just, you know, very, very respectful. Everybody has their own opinion and there's all different types of guitar players and musicians that are active in that group. Uh, the other group that I posted in was uh, another group called Everything Guitar that is maybe the biggest guitar group on Facebook at like 90 some odd thousand members, I think. The group's huge. But as soon as I posted the poll in that group, it was deleted almost immediately. And I will get to that more here in a minute. The Wampler Tone Group, on the other hand, is a group that has uh, you know, 10 or 12,000 members. Uh, you know, which is more than more than enough for what I was trying to do here. And I created a poll for greatest guitar players ever and the only criteria for a vote from those members was who do you think is the greatest guitar player to have ever lived? And I did not offer up any more information than that, period. The intention being that the person taking the poll and giving their vote would be able to determine what the definition of greatest guitar player to ever live might be. So, in keeping with the theme of 14 guitar players, which is how many I had in my original video of my, my personal list, here are the top 14 vote getters of the public opinion, of, if you will. Number one, Jimi Hendrix. Number two, Steve Ray Vaughan. Number three, Eddie Van Halen. Number four, David Gilmore. Number five, Eric Clapton. Number six, Jimmy Page. Number seven, Steve Vai. Number eight, Jeff Beck. Number nine, Guthrie Govan. Number 10, Randy Rhodes. Number 11, John Mayer. Number 12, Brent Mason. Number 13, Chet Atkins. And number 14 was Alan Holdsworth. Now, that was 14 guitar players, and this list was a long list of guitar players to choose from. I think it tallied up to, I think there was 91 guitar players to choose from when it was all said and done. And the rest of those guitar players are Eric Johnson, Mark Knopfler, uh, Tommy Emanuel, Joe Satriani, Roy Gallagher, Danny Gatton, John Petrucci, Django Reinhardt, Gary Moore, Brad Paisley, Albert Lee, Richie Blackmore, Nuno Betancourt, Pat Metheny, Dimebag Darrell, John, Fresh John Freshanti, pardon me, uh, Derek Trucks, Andreas Segovia, Wes Montgomery, Joe Bonamassa, Slash, Tony Iommi, Ingve Malmsteen, B.B. King, Les Paul, Toz Mabazi, the immortal and fantastic Travis Feaster, Aldo Miola, Dwayne Allman, Prince, Brian Setzer, Angus Young, Chuck Berry, Zach Wilde, Brian May, James Hetfield, Robert Johnson, Carlos Santana, Steve Morse, Andy Timmons, Bill Frizzell, 
Josh Homie, Homme, uh, the guy from Queens of the Stone Age, and Caius, I never have known how to pronounce his last name. Steve Howe, Joe Poss, uh, Tony Rice, Roy Clark, Peter Green, Leslie West, Vince Gill, George Lynch, Michael Landau, George Benson, Dave Mustaine, Alex Lifeson, Warren Haynes, Marty Stewart, Michael Hedges, Chuck Schuldiner, Kenny Vaughn, Doyle Bramwell II, Billy Gibbons, Charlie Christian, John Williams, Alex DeGrassi, Michelangelo Batio, Jack White, Johnny Thunders, Richie Sambora, Kenny Burrell, Alvin Lee, Borelli Lagrine, I'm not familiar with them, Warren D. Martini, Anna Vidovich, Cliff Gallup, Dave Martone, or Martoni, I'm not sure which, Vito Brada, Sylvan Luke, a KK Downing and Clint Tipton were entered together. Uh, Ace Fraley, Steve Warner, and Orianti. And the quite a few of those last, I don't know, the last 20 or so each got a vote apiece, and you know, the last four or five actually didn't receive a vote, and the ones that didn't receive a vote at all really surprised me. A similar poll like this was taken in the exact same group just a, few, a couple of months ago, and the results of that poll were completely different. You will notice that many of the names that appeared on this list also appeared on my own list of 14 guitar players. Uh, why did I choose 14 guitar players, by the way? Quite simply, because 13 was an unlucky number. No other reason. But many of those, many of the names in the public, public opinion poll appeared in my own list, and there was quite a few other names that I didn't even think of, just because the criteria for my own list in my previous video was, you know, worth were those guitar players, and I specified this in the beginning, those guitar players that whose mu music I have experienced and have felt a emotional connection to and have drawn quite a bit of inspiration both into my own playing and other aspects of my life from their music and their guitar playing. That was the criteria of that list. In other words, it is strictly a list of my favorites, personal opinion, nothing more. Now, many of the people that commented on the public opinion poll wanted more criteria, claiming that the greatest guitar player to ever live is simply too vague when you factor in things such as technical skill and songwriting and, uh, you know, different genres that uh, these guitar players might play. In other words, you know, can you really compare James Hetfield to Mark Knopfler? So again, lots of things to be considered when trying to make such a determination, and there, there is no way to make this determination, by the way. We all know that. I was putting this together primarily because I wanted to see and show the reaction of guitar players to such a question. And because I personally, to a degree, I find it very entertaining. <laughs> It, as of the time that I am recording this video, uh, which is just a little after 10 o'clock on Wednesday evening, which means that the original, uh, the original video, the video with my top 14 guitar players, to be specific, which I will have a link to down in the description if you didn't see it, uh, that video has been live and available to view on, fa on uh, YouTube now for about just you know 13 hours and about 12 minutes. So a little over 13 hours, and there has already been plenty of ba bantering in the comments. Uh, we already have a Randy Rhodes war going on, and uh, the best comment that I have received directed to me personally so far, I find hilarious. It says, no David Gilmore, no SRV, no Gary Moore. You're not serious, are you? My God, man. Unsubbed for your lack of recognition of musical talent. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so, in other words, I create a list of my favorite guitar players and uh, uh, the, somebody's telling me that I did it wrong. <laughs> and it was stuff like, it was you know, reactions like this that I've seen from a lot of people regarding this question and, uh, you know, and these debates. Guitar players are a very, very passionate group of people, uh, particularly when it comes to things very personal to them. 
in other words, their own instruments, their influences, uh, you know, and the tones that they uh, that they like to play. So, so guitar players obviously are very, very passionate. Take let's take my my SRV guy for example, or my uh, the, you know the subscriber that I lost uh, due to my lack of my, my lack of including Stevie Ray Vaughan on my uh, on my list. I own a couple of Stevie Ray Vaughan CDs, and I will put in a Stevie Ray Vaughan Greatest Hits album once in a great while. And whether I listen to part of it or I listen to all of it, uh, I will listen to it, and I'm good for a while. I've had my fill. I absolutely respect everything that Stevie Ray Vaughan ever did, uh, both as a player and I've actually got uh, some respect for him for some uh, some uh, personal accomplishments that I happen to know of from him. You know, so I I've got nothing but respect for Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, and even just uh, from a musical talent, he is absolutely one of the best to ever pick up the instrument. There's no denying that. The problem is, I'm just not a big blues fan. You know, I have nothing against it. It's just you know, I again, I will, I I like to listen to it in small doses on occasions, and uh, I listen to it a little bit, and I've had my fill, and I'm good. It's just not my favorite genre. That doesn't mean that I'm disrespecting Stevie Ray Vaughan or the genre that he represents. You know, and the same could be said for the diehard Stevie Ray Vaughan blues fanatic. That you know, that's that's what they that's what they live and breathe. And uh, you, you know, when it comes to listening to Metallica record, you know, they hear radio. You know, they hear Inner Sandman on the radio, and they've had their fill for the next two or three years. There's nothing wrong with that. Guitar players are very, very passionate about the things that inspire them, but also sometimes we get a little too overprotective and uh, very opinionated. And you know, when I omit somebody somebody else's favorite guitar player from my own list, that you know, sometimes I you know they they come at me like I ran over their dog with my car. So so, but you have very passionate guitar players, and you also have guitar players who are very black and white, and they want clear cut written instructions on you know in criteria on a on such a specific topic rather than people who determine you know and there was actually a few people that actually came out and said i interpret greatest guitar player to ever live as this and you know they explained their definition and which guitar player actually fit that mold for them uh as it relates to them to their opinion but there were also plenty of other people that wanted me to define that for them and unfortunately there's just no way that i would be able to do that for every single person out there that has a favorite guitar player uh somebody else left a comment on that video regarding my inclusion of eddie van halen now my view of eddie van halen is you know he was really the first guy to ever you know stick a humbucker in a strat basically you know much less you know and a locking tremolo and you know uh, you know, he did all of these, you know, innovations as far as, uh, you know, as far as the instrument itself, you know, not to mention his playing innovations, you know, the multi-finger, uh, uh, multi-string tapping techniques that he, uh, um, you know, that really he was the first one to do. You know, matter of fact, one of the first guitar solos that I ever learned was the solo to Ain't Talking About Love, and I have a very emotional connection to that song because of that you know after learning that soul i felt that i had accomplished something in my guitar playing and you know more importantly than that you know especially as a young as, uh, as a you know, as a kid at the time you know it was like man i just played an eddie van halen solo so that was why i included him on that list somebody had commented and said that including eddie van halen on that list was a stretch. I think it's the exact words where Eddie Van Halen is a stretch, but whatever. Okay, you know, <laughs> you know that that person is entitled to their opinion, just like me and just like everybody else. You know, and that's not to say that, you know, say that I'm right and he's wrong, or he's right and I'm wrong, or uh, you know, or anything like that. You know, it's just a matter of, it's just a difference of opinion, and you know, that's one of the things that makes us all different. If there are any such thing as a perfect guitar, you wouldn't walk into a into a guitar shop and see hundreds of them hanging on the wall. 
And so we're all entitled to our own opinions and our own interpretation about, you know, certainly with this topic and, you know, many others like it. Uh, you know, my favorite guitar player, Ozzy Osbourne, has always been Zach Wilde and probably always will be. Love the guy. Uh, I think if you, my opinion, if you took a poll of who, you know, the general public, you know, all of Ozzy's fans, who their favorite guitar player of his is, would be, I think Randy Rhodes would probably win. You know, I don't necessarily know why that is. Uh, I, I do also know that uh, just from what I've see, read and seen in interviews that, you know, Zach Wilde himself would probably vote for Randy Rhodes, you know, <laughs> you know for what that's worth. But uh, Zach Wilde's always been my favorite, and I explained that in, in the other video. There's no right or wrong answer here. You know, we're all very passionate about, you know, who inspires us and what inspires us and, you know, all these different things that, that we talk about here within our industry. If you're going to ask me who I think the greatest guitar player to ever live, my answer would be Steve Vai. No question, without hesitation, period, end. I've always thought that, and I probably always will feel that way. You know, just my opinion. And that's a direct result of the way that he and his playing and his music and, uh, you know, and many other things about him have inspired me uh, both as, as a guitar player and as an individual. Many, many other people have had similar experiences from completely different guitar players. A list of guitar players like this is nothing more than an, than an emotional expression, and each one of us is probably going to come up with something different. Uh, a few people praised me for including Jerry Cantrell. Uh, a few people thought I was nuts for including C.C. DeVille and uh, Ace and Paul from KISS, and uh, that's okay. I also and I also got beat up quite a bit for not including, uh, you know, some of the more, you know, some of the bigger names, you know, the Claptons and the SRVs and the, uh, you know, the Gilmores of the world, you know, you know, players like that. So nobody's nobody's wrong. So the point that I was trying to get to the bottom of and what I wanted to illustrate with this whole experiment that I have been conducting without, you know, and again, I had been con conducting it without telling anybody about it, is that we're all different. We're never going to agree on everything, and that's okay. You know, and some, some groups of us are able to have, you know, civil, you know, debates and conversations about, uh, you know, our differences of opinions, and other groups, for some reason, take it to a whole new level and, you know, start, you know, throwing out insults and, uh, you know, and things of that nature. And, you know, I, I'm not sure that, I, that I've ever quite understood that, but, you know, there's plenty of those people out there too. So, but I found it very interesting, just the reaction to the question that I got alone, despite of what people's answers may have been. The, you know, just the, the overall reaction was... Uh, you know, I thought I thought was very interesting and uh, a and certainly a uh, a good illustration of just how much variety there is out there, and not only how much variety that there is, but I did another video a few weeks back about how you know I'm sharing my opinion that the guitar is not dead, contrary to the opinions of uh, a few other people out there that I've that I have heard from um, or seen. And if anything, this is living proof that it's as alive as it always was, if not more so. Again, this video really is more about my, my opinion and what I have witnessed and the differences between all of us. And, you know, differences are okay because sometimes it's our differences that allow us to work together and create some of the most awesome music that has ever been created. You know, if you think about projects like, uh, you, know, you know, the you know Temple of the Dog album back in the 90s, which was a collaboration between members of Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. And, you know, that was a fantastic album, and it was members of two different bands who knew each other, of course, and you were in the same community, in the same city, you know, in the same music scene. But, you know, they weren't necessarily, you know, there's probably, a, there's a reason why they weren't all in the same band together already, you know, and they got together to do something different. And... You know, it's our, sometimes it's our differences that can make some really, really awesome things happen in our industry. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out. I upload new videos to my channel every Wednesday and Saturday morning. This video is more for you know more for me to express my own opinion, but we also do a lot of gear, uh, pedal and guitar and amp demos and all kinds of other stuff too. So uh, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know let me know your thoughts on on this topic or uh, or anything related to it. Or also please leave me your list of favorite guitar players. Those I always think those are fun to read. And last but not least, links to any of the videos that I mentioned will be listed down in the description as well as any other pertinent links. Feel free to check those out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. You know what? There are tons of young people out there that want to get involved in music and do not have the means to do so. If you are watching this video, most likely you're a musician and many experienced musicians have tons of broken and unwanted gear lying around that they're not doing anything with. Please visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook at the link below and learn how you and your unwanted gear can help change somebody's life.